So we broke it down to short-term goals and long-term goals. So here's what we have. Short-term goals, district-wide training on the five competencies, making the competencies tangible to people, explaining to them what they are and, and providing that support. Um, uh, that's been a big thing. Teacher academies related to SEL initiatives, um, the SEL committees, and that's district-wide in, in each building. I know that Dr. Hart has been talking about creating more of a district-wide committee of teachers um, and, and school counselors. We have a district-wide committee now with, with just the counselors, but I think we need to take it a little bit further. Um, so that's, an, that's, an, that's what's going to be happening, or be happening soon, um, to really establish that common vision for the district. Another thing that's going to be happening is an SEL Parent Academy, which we're really excited about. So we're going to, we've developed a parent survey that we're going to give out to parents um, and, and just create a session, an information session for people um, on you know, tough topics, conversations to have with your kids relating to, to, to literature. Um, some, some sessions on SEL, on the competencies and what they are. We were even talking about some, um, providing some sessions in Spanish for Spanish-speaking families. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, Long-term goals. Really strengthen that whole homeschool connection. It's so important because it's not, a sustainable SEL program is not just in school. It's, it's, it, they found that the parents are a huge connection to that. Um, the community members um, is, is a piece of that. So, so we're really looking into not just school. Continuing to coordinate each building's SEL program in all content areas across curricular connections, in specials, um, identifying and fostering teacher leaders. That's been really important um, because there's a lot of people that we have in our district, a lot of really just passionate people that believe in this um, and they're really smart. So I really want to empower them to you know, help with bringing mindfulness practices and strategies to teachers. Um, talking about the core competencies. They're in it, they're in the trenches, they know what's going on, so I want to empower them and have them speak and, and train. Um, we're also looking into Conscious Discipline, which is, um, it's a program that, that it's, and it's really a mindset that Dr. Hart's on, we've been looking at this, um, it's brain-based, and it provides a common language for kids and for staff um, in terms of, you know, they talk a lot about like, um, well, you're in your flight or flight mode, or are you in this part of the brain? So they really teach the kids what's going on and why they're feeling a certain way, what, like that it's normal, but here's, here's how to recognize it and how to move past it. Um, so we're going to look more into that and also some more um, restorative practices for, as, far, as far as interventions go for those kids that, that aren't, aren't really, um, I don't want to say aren't getting the, the, the universal program, but aren't. They need, they need more support. So instead of instead of looking into punitive ways to <laughs> reform, we're looking into more restorative ways and really maybe having some meetings with those kids and, and saying, all right, let's here's here's how you're behaving. Here here's some strategies that you can do to to, to behave differently, right, and to be more successful. So we're we're looking more into those kinds of options. Um, and also, finally, um, more, Dr. Elias also has an SEL program assessment in his book that we're looking at, um, that, that I'm kind of, I've, been, I've been researching, and Castle um, just updated their assessment tools on their website, and they have, they're, they've done a lot of research on um, how to assess kids and programs um, in social-emotional learning. 